Hey YouTube, this is Detroit Borg with a quick how-to video on how to install iMovie on the original iPad. Currently, the iMovie app is only available for the iPad 2, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch 4th generation. Apple doesn't allow you to install the app on any other device. However, you can get around this pretty easily and it does not require jailbreaking. First up, we'll need to download and install the iPhone Configuration Utility. This is a free app available for both Mac and PC. I'll post a link in the description below. Next, if you haven't already, you will need to purchase the iMovie app from the App Store and iTunes. Next, plug in your iPad and wait for it to finish syncing with iTunes. Launch the iPhone Configuration Utility and pick the Application tab at left. Then click Add at the top of the window and navigate to the iMovie app. You can find this file under the iTunes folder, under iTunes Media, and under Mobile Applications. Now with the app added to the configuration utility, we can install it on the iPad. To do this, click on the name of your iPad in the left column and then select the Applications tab. Scroll through the list of apps until you get to iMovie. Then click to the install button next to it. The app will install without much fanfare so you won't see a syncing screen or progress indicator. And that's it, you're ready to use the app. Of course using iMovie on the iPad 1 means you will have to import video not recorded by the iPad. But keep in mind the app officially supports video recorded by Apple devices only. This is one reason it's not available for the original iPad. This means that video files recorded by another camera and imported to the iPad via iTunes or the Camera Connection Kit may not appear in the app, even if it appears in your photo gallery. Another issue to be aware of is that when you next sync your iPad to iTunes, you will receive an error message for the unauthorized app install. To get around this, just click Cancel. It's not possible to authorize the app and selecting Don't Authorize will uninstall it. Unfortunately, this means that in order to preserve the installation of iMovie on your iPad, you will have to cancel sync every time, which will prevent you from adding content via iTunes. So it's best to look at this as a temporary solution that allows you to play with iMovie on an iPad before you get your iPad too. So once again guys, this is Detroit Work with a quick how-to video on how to get iMovie on your original iPad. Thanks for watching.